Welcome to Talk of the Town, everyone. I'm Robin Zimmerman, along with Steve Gato. As you know, he's a certified financial planner and a partner with us at WHHI-TV. And as we approach the holidays, we, we could just talk about the holidays, but yeah. we've got to... <laughs> We've got to really dive into, again, our retirement savings and three right. controllable factors or yep. three factors that we need to understand. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned in your notes, Dave Ramsey always says, take you know, 8%, 8%, but that's not Yeah, there's always. a lot of controversy right now. If you go on Twitter or X or whatever it's called, <laughs> um, there's a lot of debate. He made a statement that you can take 8% out of your investments and you should be fine. Uh, when you model that, it doesn't work, and, and that's fine. 8% is a great goal if you're in the accumulation phase, which means you're saving. So, yeah. Because at the end of the day, every time the market drops, you buy at a lower price, and that works in your favor. When you're in the decumulation phase... Now, what does that mean when you say decumulation? That means you're taking the money out. Okay. And so, and like, you know, before you're filling up the stove, yeah. and now you're taking the like stuff out. Like we are, like yeah. Lynn and I, yeah. Absolutely. And so when the market drops, you still your bills don't drop proportionally right, with it. Right. And so that becomes a significant risk. Okay. Um, and that's really the first one that I wanted to talk about, and that's the sequence of returns. Okay. And so how those returns come in really determine your retirement. So if mm -hmm. you retired in 2000 mm -hmm. and you had 2000, 2001, 2002, where it lost a significant amount, and then right when you got back to whole, you had 2008 and it plummeted again, those folks generally had a significant depletion of their assets and for most of them in 14 to 17 years ran out of money right or went back to work and they had to make some other changes exactly on the other hand if we would just simply flip it and you went from 2022 and work backwards mm -hmm. um, they have significant money right now so that's a risk that most don't consider it's also why these index products have come out there's index life there's indexed annuities that step mm -hmm. up but never go backwards. And you know, from a, a risk standpoint, that's if you've got if you're depending on your income, that's one of the better ways to better. address it. Yes. And then now there's the tax risk and the legislative risk. Yeah, thirty three so. plus trillion dollars. The money's gotta come from somewhere. And so tax risk, if you look at the history of America and our taxation, every time we've had a war or a significant event, taxes have gone up. Got well, it. COVID and Ukraine and whatever's right. going on yeah, with Israel, Israel and right. all those factors come mm -hmm. in and create a need for the government to generate revenue. Well, the largest assets that are out there right now are retirement assets. And so I, I look for there to be some changes in the tax um, right. situation. It, we know it's changing in 2026 because the Trump tax law sunset. Right. And so there's a couple years right now that we can get some tax savings, but that's going to be in a, something you have to address. Well, and then you said that the the risk that you worry about the most is the legislative, legislative. risk of what Congress yeah. can do. That's they change the rules on you. And, and right. this has happened to folks um, as recently as the SECURE Act. And so most people were retiring and they say, I'm going to use a stretch IRA and I'm going to pass it on to my kids and they'll be able to use my required minimum distribution. Well, now they've consolidated that. When you inherit an IRA, you have 10 years or five years to liquidate it. Well, that accelerates the taxes on it and it often kicks it up into higher tax brackets. So doing some planning in those areas makes a big difference. Uh, well, and you mentioned the word planning. I mean, you are immersed in this. This is what you yeah. do for a living. You're an expert in this and most of us aren't. And well, so having someone like you that are looking at all of these, you know, all of these variables out yeah. there that are constantly changing yeah. is so critical to for retirees. And that's why I created the Tax Shield program. It's a $200 program that gives people a snapshot of where they are and can show you where you can improve your situation. You know, there's no products that are pushed. There's nothing that's there. It's simply saying here's where I am and here are the risks that I may or may not know. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the phrases I love is, if what you thought to be true turned out not to be true, when would you want to know? Oh, that's... <laughs> and, and that's, you know, if you've got a problem in retirement, yeah, the wanted, sooner you, you can know, find out, yes. the better off you're going to be. And that's really what I, I that's the, where the planning comes in. And that's what I love doing is solving those puzzles. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Always Thank a great you. interview and great tips for us and advice. Thank, Thank you, you, Steve Gato, a retirement, a certified retirement, really, planner. Yep, that's Manager. what I do. Yep. All right. Thanks, Thank Steve. You.